so hello again welcome back to the play critically live stream where i am continuing with classic battle mode and injustice gods among us i've got three characters left to finish that should only take me about an hour and a half to finish which will leave me another hour hour and a half to round out the rest of my stream where i'm probably gonna play some mario kart 8 online i got mario kart 8 deluxe on sunday but i haven't played it online at all i should probably do that while it's new and exciting, but I still got Sinestro, Black Adam, and Bane to round out this mode. So I've never played a Sinestro. So I'm gonna do his Star Lab mission so I can learn his combos and special abilities and then we'll get going to cla classic battle and get the last of the endings. And then I should be just about prepared for Injustice 2, which comes out in two weeks. Excited for that. He seems pretty straightforward. He's got a ranged attack, which I always like to see. You will know the meaning of fear. You run along now. I have business to attend to. Don't we all? Begin. Jedi training orb. I'll claw your eyes out. You will die. Yeah, you do that. That'll do to be getting on with. I'm gonna have to learn to be a little more efficient with him. I was kind of sloppy, but you know, I'm just getting started. I need to warm up. I need to ease into things. I'm not gonna be at my peak as soon as I start. Begin. 
This won't take long. You will die screaming. Lex Luthor can be kind of a butthead, but it's only the third fight, so I should be okay. If he came later, I'd be a lot more concerned. Must I remind you of my superiority? Yes, incessantly. Begin. <laughs> really feeling Sinestro. His combos are kind of boring. But I also kind of suck at combos, so I'm probably just not doing as good ones. Catch me if you can. Begin. <laughs> Cyborg. Yeah, it'd be ranged attacks versus ranged attacks here. Probably lots of it. Unless he gets really aggressive.
Any idea how many times I tried to do that to you? Jerk. You will submit. Now we're getting up there. Now it's going to start putting up a real fight. I'll probably lose a couple of these. Embarrassing. Not sure how I pulled that one out, but I did it. I ain't gonna argue with the victory.
Fight nine death stroke. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Watch, you'll see what I mean. Fight nine death stroke always hands my ass to me. Begin. bad as I could be, but I'm still in a bad place. he was going to get that ultimate off. Contract fulfilled. I'm actually still quite pleased with myself just for blocking that. Because by all rights, I shouldn't have been able to block that.
I'll take that. You will submit. And now, time for Super Fascist. Here we go. tied up. Wow. You think I knew what I was doing or something? Oh, but that capped his meter for him. That's, that's not good. When Superman's One Earth regime proved to be a failure similar to his on Korrigar, Sinestro retreated to deep space to ruminate on its demise. Fear had long seemed the most powerful of the emotions with which to bring order to the universe, yet it had not been enough. Desperate, Sinestro hurled the might of the Sinestro core against the life entity, keeper of the white power battle. The what now? Ultimately victorious, Sinestro now wielded the power of a white there lantern. There are white lanterns. No adversary could possibly withstand. Oh, and of him. course, the most the light powerful the lanterns lantern core would be the first he would extinguish. <laughs> so the most powerful lanterns are the white ones, of course. And I guess in Injustice 2, there's a Red Lantern, which I kind of get the Red Lanterns more than I get a White Lantern. <laughs> yeah, That's the wrong category. I know who's up next. We've got Black Adam up next, who, again, I've never played as Black Adam, so I'm just going to do his Star Lab mission real quick, if I can find it. There it is. Just do his first Star Lab mission, learn some of his combos, learn his special abilities. That'll get me a little more grounded for the classic battle mode.
Here we go. Okay. He's kind of boring. <laughs> That's kind of been my reaction to a lot of the characters in this, but there's like 30 of them, so we'll give them a break. Some of them are going to be boring, and what can you do? Black Adam. I have returned. Watch out, I didn't know you'd gone anywhere. This one looks kind of tough. Really? I think you underestimate me. Begin. Cool. Couldn't hear you over the sound of the city being destroyed. It's like the ending to Batman v Superman. Always be a world of dictators. Ouch.
this will always be a world of dictators. <laughs> so Black Adam is one of the characters returning for Injustice 2, one of the more unusual characters to return, I thought, since he doesn't really do anything in this one. He's just kind of here. Shazam was in this one, so they put Black Adam in here too. That's, that's pretty much why he's here. <laughs> Maybe they'll do something more with him in that one. That'll be nice. Yeah, McBisquick in the channel says, I like how every character who can fly insists on doing so, even if it's just six inches off the ground. The only character I've seen who actually is able to fly is Huck Girl, who's up next. I didn't find any real use for her ability to fly, but she can do it. You run along now. I have business to attend to. Uh oh, this one's fighting back. Maybe she'll use her flying ability. The computer often ignores the character's special abilities. As do I, but that's just because I don't know what I'm doing. Time to bring the hammer down. Begin. Ow. Thanks a lot.
Oh, you speedy bastard. There you go. Have a piss to your face. That'll take care of you. <laughs> I'm down here. There you go. will stop you. Why do you resist? be a world of dictators. Now we're getting up there. Oh, a fight eight Batman. This could be a little rough. Batman can be annoying with his counters. Of course, that just means I need to slow down, but, you know, that would require me to slow down, which I'm not good at. Begin. you could spread that far with it. Well, that was ironic. Black Adam wins. 
This will always be a world of dictators. I don't know why I'm doing so well. <laughs> Peter is being very nice to me tonight. It's actually kind of growing on me. <laughs> and super fascist, here we go. Now the trend has been where I've done really well in the first nine fights, then Superman has cleaned the floor with me. Let's see if that holds true here. He was powered up and everything, so this is going to wipe me out. Oh, he didn't have his power up. Wow. Usually he'll only do that when he's got his special ability activated. time pulling up the level transitions tonight, usually the AI just stonewalls me every time I try to do that. Oh, here we go. If I eat two ultimates and still beat him, it would be awesome. He's got me, though. Oh, oh my gosh. That was luck. That was pure luck.
The defeat of Superman taught Black Adam one thing. Most of Earth's denizens were too weak to adopt Kandak's visionary form of government. He returned to his homeland with a new plan. Combining their energies, Black Adam and his empress Isis created a mystical barrier around Kandak. There they reigned in peace, their country an oasis in the wasteland of human civilization. A true oasis once Black Adam had destroyed all other life on Earth. Wow. <laughs> okay, if he destroys all of the life on Earth, what do you need the shield for? What is there to threaten you? <laughs> I'm just asking. So that just leaves one character left for classic battle. And that's going to be Bane, who I, again, have never played as. So we'll just check out his Star Lab mission. And then do one more classic battle to round out the rest of the series. There you are. I want that to be an x-ray move. <laughs> I want to see what that does to their spine. That way when I see it I can say, oh, I wish I hadn't seen that. Okay, Bane seems pretty straightforward. I think I'll get on just fine with him. Oh, stop it. My controller tweaks out now and then. Although my main concern with Bane is if he's going to be like Solomon Grundy and Doomsday, where he's just all powerhouse, no Bane. substance, and can't really defend himself when you run into a more tactical character like, like a high-level Batman or a high-level Deathstroke. But I'm just talking up my ass here. I don't know anything about this game's metagame. Basically, my point is these characters don't have ranged attacks, so I don't always do too well with them. Sometimes I just like to stand on the far end of the level and just shoot them with a gun. It's boring, but it works. Nothing of strength. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't think I would do that. I didn't think 
Honestly, I didn't think I had the skill to do that. That's the kind of stuff where I go back for achievements or for trophies. I have to go online and find a guide how to do some characters with that. I'm just like, one, two, one, one, two. Hey, I got a four hit combo. That's really good for me. <laughs> Athena, guide me. Begin. <laughs> Not up to this. Yo soy tu muerte. Thank you for putting Aquaman early. A high fight Aquaman can be very annoying because he just spams his trident attack, which I suck at blocking. Something we did left a hole in the ground. I've never noticed that before. We left a skid mark. That must have hurt. Not 
building of strength. Sugar. And you're a fool if you think these are strength. Okay, now we're getting into the back half. The difficulty's gonna ramp up significantly. No, that's what I call an entrance. Begin. sure what just happened there. You're about to become a pen cushion. I want him to win this one, that way he'll get some health back. That way I can use my ultimate on him. This should be fun. Yeah, 
that's more like what I was expecting. how you did that. Wow. He wasn't blocking, but my attack just slid right off. Batgirl. <laughs> She's got that teleporting attack. It's, uh, I'm pretty bad at blocking it. This could be a little rough. Oh, man, I saw Fight 9 as Lex Luthor. That's gonna suck, too. You don't stand a chance. Probably not. Begin. something about that ability. I'm not using it right or something. Maybe they can't be stunned when I use it. So yeah, I won't be using that anymore. I really lost it there at the end, but I still pulled through. You know nothing of strength. Yeah. Ah! Woo. Oh, 
Okay. A high skill level Lex Luthor is gonna be bad. Cause... He's got a personal shield, he can activate constantly, that absorbs an attack, it's superior. annoying as hell. He's got this charging attack that uh, I'm terrible at blocking. We'll see how this goes. Holy crap, I blocked it. Wow. Come on, Lex. This will enlighten you. Yo soy tu muerte. There's the shield. He finally used it. Bye. Oh, oh, you little. I really wanted to finish him off the backbreaker. That would have been so satisfying. You know nothing of strength. Okay, the last fight against the super fascist. Here we go. And then I'll have done classic battle with every single character. Taken out by Super Breath. Oh, I hope Superman doesn't have psoriasis. That would be bad. Oh, I think I made him mad. Specials just won't connect. Mm. Hey, that one connected. Well, 
now my specials are connecting. That's nice. is super right now. Breaker, but I think I'll mess myself up if I do. I'll take it. Whatever. And that's Classic Battle finished with every single character. That took a long time to do. Superman had been a fool to believe Bane would willingly accept a subordinate role in the One Earth government. With the High Counselor out of the way, true leadership could begin. Bane found in Sinestro and Black Adam inspiring examples of ruthless, absolute authority. They reciprocated his regard for their talents. The three former villains regained control of the planet and formed a ruling triad that would be uninterrupted until the next phase of Bane's plan. Okay. <laughs> I know Bane is supposed to be actually really smart, but that stretches credibility for me. He's... <laughs> Never mind, just forget it. Okay, let's spend all the crap that I got for reasons. <laughs> See if I can squeeze a few more achievements out of this, because I seriously doubt I'll ever return to this game. And that's all the costumes unlocked. That's pretty cool. Unlocks I was opened. Let's see what my achievements are at now. Oh, 21 of 50. Nice. Complete classic battle with all characters. Perform every character's super move. Cool. Okay. That was when I started classic battle. It was on the 19th of April, and now it's May 2nd. That's how long it took me to do every character. Doing about... Not every night, but most nights. But this has been... Injustice Gods Among Us, just doing some... I shouldn't say practice, because... Let's be honest, I'm never going to be good enough at this game for practice to really apply, but I'm just familiarizing myself with the game. That way, when Injustice 2 comes out, I'm not completely hopeless. I can actually play online a little bit and compete a little bit. You know, if I ever actually end up doing that. I could very well go online, get my ass kicked once, and then never play again, which is what happened with Mortal Kombat 10. But I still got about an hour left in my stream time, so I'm gonna finish out the night with Mario Kart 8. Let me get that going right here.
Okay. I played the Wii U version quite a lot online. I've barely played this. Actually, I shouldn't say barely. I haven't played this one online at all, so my ratings are both going to be at 1,000. So let's bump those up a bit. And hopefully matchmaking in... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is way better than it was in the Wii U version. Because in the Wii U version, all the map voting was divided by DLC packs. And if you wanted to play, like, in DLC Pack 2, then you had to vote mostly for maps from DLC Pack 2, which means that you played on Excite Bite Arena a lot, and you played Baby Park a lot, and I was just sick to death of it. But this is supposed to mix things up a bit more, and it has all the maps in the same voting pool, so, you know, that'd be nice. Alright, let's see if I can still do this. Somebody's lagging. I hope it's not me. If I can just get out of the carnage of the middle of the pack, I'll be okay. Ah, damn it. Wow, I... Clearly I don't have it anymore. I've completely lost it. There we go, I'll take second place. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and you, you docked me points for that, really? You disconnect me and you dock me rating? Sure, fine, whatever. Okay, so it looks like Mario Kart 8 is not doing too well in its first week. <laughs> I hadn't heard about this. There's four choices. Just pick one. There you go.
I was a little early. Yep, that's what I thought. So I'll be back in the pack this whole race now, because I really messed up at the start. Barely slowed him down. What the heck? Oh, well, I have hardly any coins. That's not going to help me any. Nice try, buddy. I will take second place. That is perfectly respectable. God, please, not Baby Park. Anything but Baby Park. Thank you. <laughs> I never liked Baby Park in the first place, and then when you're playing it online, everybody wants to play flippin' Baby Park. Over and over and over. It's... It's a donut that's tiny. You go, you take right turns. That's all you do. Why do people love it so much? I really need to take that shortcut if I'm going to compete, but I suck at that shortcut. I always drive off the cliff. Wow. 
Wow, having a banana party, I see. Oh, damn it. I even saw it flash in blue, and I was like, don't do it. shouldn't have even tried to do it after I got blasted with the fireball, but I was like, I'm at the perfect angle, I can do it! I can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bad win on this one. I'll be happy to place better than fifth. Why? Come on. Ugh. Oh, I lost my golden mushroom and everything. Wow. I hate you too. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> That was cruel, but I'm sorry. I had to place better than eighth. Bacon. <laughs> At least people's ratings aren't too high. I thought people would be in the two and three thousands by now. By the time I started playing Mario Kart 8 online on the Wii U, the people who had their rating capped already. Oh, that was bad. Okay, I deserve my last place after that. That was pathetic. That guy's playing with motion controls, I can tell. Piranha Plant. Okay, I'll go this way. I am doing spectacularly badly. I don't suck this hard, I swear. <laughs> but one thing I have noticed about Mario Kart, in general, not just Mario Kart 8, if you're in last place, you stay in last place. It doesn't matter how many items you get.
I I improved. I bounced back from twelfth to third. I'll take it. <laughs> it's because it wasn't until that last lap that I really started driving the way I'm actually capable of driving. You know, not mushrooming straight into the river. <laughs> that was just embarrassing. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> There's always one person who just sits there and doesn't vote and wastes everybody's time. Oh, oh boy. This is one of my worst tracks. This is not going to be good. Villager. Just because Tom Nook's got you in the poorhouse doesn't mean you need to steal my coin like that. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. There we go. Get some coins so I can actually get my speed up. Payback! Take that, Black Yoshi. Dang it, I almost pulled it off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How is that? That just ain't right. What a crock of shit that was. Oh. Oh, I got screwed. That was awful. <laughs>
This is the part where you vote for a map. This guy right here in the middle. Wasting everybody's time. Yeah, serves you right. Throw a red shell at me, that's what you get. on me. Fourth place ain't bad. Guys, we just did Ice Ice Outpost. Why are you voting for it? Better question. Because I can't fault somebody for voting for a racetrack they like. But we just did Ice Ice Outpost. Why is it coming up in the vote queue again? <laughs> Music Park, excellent.
Ah, shoot. I need to get some coins. What am I doing? Sorry, dude. Hey, hey, I'm briefly in first place. We'll see how long this lasts. My guess... Less than 15 seconds. Watch the clock. Time it. See? Here comes a blue shell. And lightning. Okay. And, and an inky. Because this is Mario Kart. The Sandwich of Pain. Oh, come on. Yeah. Screw you and your red shell. Enough red shells. Oh, red shells. Red shells. <laughs> okay, that's how a second place turns into a sixth place in Mario Kart. <laughs> really, them giving you a skill rating is meaningless. Because you can go from second place totally on your own merits, then get nailed by three red shells in a row, I think that was. <laughs> I'm going bullshit on that. I don't care. Everybody loves Mount Wario. Okay, what the heck's going on with my controls? There we go. Ah. Get rid of this thing. I hate... <laughs> I hate bob bombs so much. Ah. <sighs> Rolling a ball bomb is just a fuck you to the player. It's like, here's a thing that will probably screw you up. Enjoy.
Ah! I'm in an 11th place. What do I need to get hit by lightning bolts? Wow. I used to be good at this game. What the shit? Ugh. <laughs> uh. voted. Last place. Good job, Link. Excellent work. You screwed us both. Do that some more. God, freaking stop giving me bob bombs. Just, just stop. This is the chaos of Mario Kart. When you're in last place, you get nothing that really helps you catch up. Like, you get the best items in the game, but they don't help you catch up. When you're in the middle of the pack, you just get bombarded from everybody behind you. But if you're in like first, second, third place, you're probably actually pretty safe. You're in first, second, third place. Well, if you're in first or second, you gotta worry about blue shells, you gotta worry about homing shells. Green shells aren't a threat. Bananas you can see coming. But if you're in the middle, it's just chaos and you can't get through it all the time. Whether you get through it is very often a crapshoot. So the trick to being good at Mario Kart is to be good at Mario Kart. It's insane! <laughs> That's more like it. But if you're in like fourth place and you get hit by something, 
get ready to get hit by three or four more things and end up in 10th or 11th place. It's gonna happen. I guarantee it. Of course, a big part of the problem is I am just out of practice. And not very good. <laughs> I've been doing okay offline in the tournaments, but... The computer plays completely differently from how a player would. Wow. But you see? You see now that I'm first place, how e easy a time I'm having? I'm not getting harassed constantly from all directions. Interesting how that works, isn't it? I was hoping to take one of them out with me, but it didn't work. I should have just stayed on the gas pedal. I'll take third place though, that's not bad. Ow, oh, that sucks for him. Nothing more frustrating than when you're on the last leg of the last lap and you get hit by a blue shell, and it'll happen all the time. Especially if you're playing against the computer, and the computer will do it to you on purpose. It's not an accident when it happens against the computer. Another thing that'll happen with the computer a lot, especially now that they've added the double boxes to Deluxe version of Mario Kart 8, is as soon as you grab a double box, as soon as you grab it, somebody else will use a lightning bolt behind you. It's not a coincidence. <laughs> the computer cheats. to think about it. There you go.
What happened to my Link? We were neck and neck all throughout first lap. Now he's gone. Thank you for the coins. I do love having coins when I'm already capped on coins. So helpful. I took that corner badly. I deserve to lose first place. Ah, stay away. Stay away. Ah. Okay. Hey, look at that. How quickly the tides turn. Oh, come. Mario Kart 8 needs mercy invincibility. It is... It is absolutely ridiculous that you can get hit by three and four things in a row. Oh, you got hit by a blue shell? Here, have a red shell. Have another red shell. Have a third red shell. It's happened to me more than once. <laughs> it's... Wow. <laughs> How quickly your fortunes can change. That guy has like the exact same face I do. That's creepy. Why can't I turn today? Okay, that's that's fine. I'm just whatever. I'm having a good time. Who cares? <laughs> that's right. That's what revenge feels like. Why? All the red shells, me, always, why? But props to that guy who's playing as the Splatoon Kid. He's been coming in close to last, but he's hanging in there. He is learning how to play. Don't do that.
<laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. He's got two stars. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Second place, yes! Yeah. Got about 15 minutes left on tonight's stream. So I won't be on much longer. Just so you know. But yes. Been playing for almost an hour, haven't played Baby Park once, haven't played Excite Bike Arena once. So this matchmaking is vastly improved from the Wii U version, and I gotta say worth paying $60 for it all over again. Online multiplayer is no longer infuriating and boring. Ooh, Baby Park, again! I'm so happy. We did just do Mount Wario, but that's okay. We can do it again. Excellent drifting from this Splatoon kid in front of me. my height. Thank you. could swap out an item to hopefully take this guy in front of me down. I'm hoping he's just going to get hit with the blue shell. If not, I'm happy with second place. I don't want to risk losing second place to maybe get first place then lose it. He 
He's in first. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, I got Bullet bob -omb in my channel asking what CC this is. I'm just playing online. As far as I know, online is always 150, but there are these little numbers on the maps that are saying like 100, 150, so maybe we're playing in different CCs. I don't know how that works. As far as I'm concerned, we should only be playing 150 CC. Go easy on me? You've been winning, like, every race. <laughs> See, let's watch the map now. When it picks a map, there's gonna be a little number on it, which I think is the CC rating, but I don't know how we pick. See, this would be 150 CC. But I don't know what determines that, because we're not seeming to be able to choose. Watch this inkling girl next to me in the hot rod. That's the best player in this game right now. They up the drop rate on bob -ombs and Deluxe, because I get them all the time now. And it drives me crazy. Because I see bob -ombs as death. I see a bob -omb and I'm like, that's gonna explode on me. I know it is. And here comes a blue shell. And a super horn. Nice. Ah, fair trade, fair trade. I'll take a banana over a blue shell any day. <laughs> Enough bob -bombs. seriously. And here comes the Inkling Girl, she's catching up to me. got a first. I finally feel satisfied with myself. I achieved the love I never got from my father. Oh, what the heck. Excite Back Arena is a good map. I'll play it once. It's when I play it over and over and over and over like you do in the Wii U version because of how map picking works in that one that I get a little sick of it. <laughs> and we didn't even do it, so... <laughs>
Well, Inkling Girl was doing really well. She seems to be having trouble now. for a power slide and it did not happen. Cost me my lead. I suck, I suck. It's okay, second place ain't bad. Second place is very good, actually. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Clever Dickens. Wow, look at Villager. He blew way ahead of us. Bullet Bob Bob in the channel says this game looks rad. It is rad. It is the best Mario Kart ever made. Personal opinion, that's not saying much. The Mario Kart series, I think, is highly overrated. But this one is really freaking good. I played a lot of it on the Wii U. I'm so happy it's on the Switch so a lot more people can play it now because, you know, people just didn't buy the Wii U. You know, people talk a lot about, nobody understood what the Wii U was. Well, you talk all the time about how nobody understood what the Wii U was. I think you understood what the Wii U was. You just didn't want to buy it. But I'm getting to the end of my stream, so this is going to be my last race for the night. Once these people vote, <laughs> there's always somebody who waits till the clock runs down to vote. That's like, why? Why must you waste our time? Looks like this is only going to be 100 CC. I have no idea what determines how fast the CC rating is. It might be based on player skill. I don't know. As I've said, as far as I'm concerned, it should be 150cc flat. Oh, we got a lot of links in this race.
I'm not going to do well in this race, I can tell. I've been caught in the pack, which means I'm never going to escape it. As I discussed earlier, the best way to be good at Mario Kart is to be good at Mario Kart. If you're knocked back into ninth place like I am, you're probably not going to recover. That's just the way the game works. You've got to break through the pack, which means breaking through an insane amount of nonsense and shells coming at you from every direction. Like that red shell, which has been following me for about 10 seconds. See what I mean? See, I get hit by one thing, then everybody behind me immediately starts hitting me with stuff too. It's because the human mind is vindictive. They see somebody in peril, they all dogpile them, because they think it gives them an advantage. I'll take seventh place, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this has been the Play Critically live stream with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. I started the night playing Injustice Gods Among Us, but I finished the classic battle mode in that. Which is all I really wanted to do in it, so that way I'm prepared for Injustice 2, which comes out in exactly two weeks, I think. Maybe it comes out a little earlier than that. You can follow me here at twitch.tv slash playcritically. I'm on YouTube on playcritically. And I am on a blog, playcritically.wordpress.com. I'm on Twitter at playcritically. You can follow me everywhere under the same name. It's very consistent, very easy to follow. I write critical essays about video games on my blog. I play video games here as many nights of the week as I can. I miss every so often. And tomorrow night, I will be starting Puyo Puyo Tetris since it finally got delivered. Amazon says it's two-day delivery, but don't trust them on that, especially if it's a Switch game. So thank you for watching, and have a wonderful night.